We begin with the latest on North Korea. North Korea has upped the ante in its rhetoric against the international community. Pyongyang lashed out against the UN decision to slap it with tougher sanctions and unleashed a series of new threats. Our Connie Lee has more in this story. Adding to the already high level of tension on the Korean peninsula, North Korea rejected the latest sanctions laid out by the United Nations and again threatened the international community. On Saturday, an unidentified spokesperson from Pyongyang's foreign ministry released a statement through the nation's state media that said the DPRK, or the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, strongly denounces and completely rejects the sanctions against it, which are a product of U.S. hostile policy toward the DPRK. Pyongyang accuses the U.N. of being abused by the U.S., who it claims is aiming to topple the regime. The latest rhetoric comes after the Security Council unanimously voted on Friday to impose new sanctions on North Korea, following its third nuclear test, which was conducted three weeks ago. The tougher sanctions, adopted as Resolution 2094, will tighten financial restrictions and crack down on Pyongyang's attempts to transport illegal cargo. Angered at the international response, North Korea added it will ramp up its nuclear activity and vowed to take stronger countermeasures. Earlier, North Korea had also threatened to sever its emergency hotline with Seoul and scrap the armistice that halted the Korean War in 1953. South Korea's unification ministry is urging Pyongyang to pull back. North Korea should not make inter-Korean relations more difficult by nullifying agreements between the two Koreas. And they should clearly realize they cannot get anything with provocations or threats. The United States also warned Pyongyang it will not achieve anything by repeating such threats and it will only further isolate the communist nation. Connie Lee, Arirang News.